M0FXB, welcome to my scanner videos. Today we're looking at the ARDV10 made by AOR. And what's special about this scanner is that it will decode C4FM, D-Star and DMR plus Tetra. So it does a lot and Tetra is something we need to learn about. So this is a second hand unit, although it says that it's, uh, it's never been used before. So I did save some money by getting a second hand unit. So let's have a look what's in the box. Uh, so we'll take we'll open it up. First thing we're seeing is this antenna. Now I, as far as I know, you do actually get a rubber duck antenna and you get this antenna. Now the rubber duck antenna has been specific, specifically designed for airband. Okay. Now I'm not sure if this is the included one because it says here that it's a diamond antenna. So I would say, let's just try and zoom in, that maybe that was. Uh, put in the box. I don't believe they come with a diamond antenna. I believe they come with a, a rubber duck antenna. So here's the manual. And uh, we've got some the pamphlets that come with the item. Just uh, have a look at this pamphlet here, like a brochure. Trusted monitoring receivers and accessories for a wide range of users. And there's all the different scanners there. There's your manual. I was told that there was a couple of loose pages on the manual. I've been reading the manual um, quite closely and I think it's actually quite a good manual. Um, it covers everything you'd want it to cover. So DC power supply. What is that? Let's have a good look here. If I can zoom in. One amp. I think it's 10.5 volts there and it's got the adapter in. There's your adapter that plugs into the side of the scanner. And they do all come with the, the battery tray. Now we're told um, not to use rechargeable batteries in this. That's what it says. It says that it's not recommended. But anyway, there it is there. I wonder if, if anyone has used rechargeable batteries. And so there's your battery which I'm told it will charge 300 times and it's a 2000 milliamp hour battery. And the back of it looks very similar to, to the, you know, the tray holder, let's say. So right now to the, the main radio, otherwise there's just a belt clip. So we've got the main radio here. Let's get everything out of the way. Box out of the way there. Right, so in the background, we've got the SDS 100, which I thought I'd have it in the background. I need a couple of screws here, which are in this box for the the belt the belt clip. Now it does look unused to me. It looks, yeah, looks unused. Um, so let's get the battery cover on. Sorry, the battery on there. I don't actually know if it's charged. Looks like it just clips in. Get it in camera shot. This way up. So you just press, do you? Yeah, it looks like you press and to, um, to take it off. I think you can lock it into place. Yeah, lock it into place. Oh, it's, it's turning on already. So is there an on off? Like so, you can see that that's changing the frequency. If I Turn the outer knob, it's quite stiff, but it changes the frequency. That looks like it's probably your volume. There. And we're in VFO mode. So we'll go one, two, six, zero, two, five, zero. So we go enter. Yeah, it looks like we do. And I just unclear about the volume actually. We get the antenna on there. The one that came with it, which is BNC connector. Extend that out. We don't even know how to turn down the squelch. So that's, that, that's quite a long antenna. That diamond, it's quite a long antenna. Can't see the volume slider. Squelch. Oh, it seems squelch. As you can see, we need to learn this device.
I've got this rubber duck off my whistler, so we'll put that on for now. Let's type in a frequency. We'll do that again. We'll go, we'll try my node here at home. There we go. Four three four dot five five zero enter so there's our node and mode it's got the mode button here it just says fm but let's just flick through it look we can select auto if we wanted to we can select that we scroll along like this there's auto fm usb you start to go to yesu which will be c4 fm dmr and d star so I will fire up my D-Star hotspot to see what we pick up. To see my hotspots there in the background. Whilst we're here, we may as well put on the belt clip. Quite a big belt clip. And just line it up like so. Got one of the screws in there. Just zip that in. Once we've got one in. And they're quite long screws. We're good to go. And to get the backlight so it stays on, you press menu, you go across to config, enter, then you go across with the arrows. So the right arrows make you go down, backlight, enter, then you can go right and left. Do that again. Pretty sure. Oh, look with the the bottom knob. So you want continuous, then you go clear to back out, and it will stay on. And then to type in my node, which was you just type in the frequency, put dot, and and select the mode you want to listen to. So that's nice, straightforward. Just turn it on. You've got A and B here as well. Let's see if we can do A and B. We hold it, hold the enter. Look at this, you get this nice long menu here. Bank channels, that's the frequency I've got in there, the mode I'm in at the moment. So that's just all current stuff that you're doing. This has just turned it on and not used it at all. Mode, that's nice and easy. You can select mode, back out. Clear, you've got a lock button here. I know that if I hold down my S this button here, which is the record button. It takes me into the SD card menu and there is one in there. It's gone straight to list. Let's go enter and see if there's anything on there. So it looks like we've got some recordings that were from the previous owner. So let's just hit enter on one of them. There you go. Let's try another one. Um, how do we go? I'm not really sure how to cycle through this. Let's just go back. Do the menu again. Look, you've got trunk there. So I, I'm not really teaching on in this video. I'm more just... In my, well, just doing what I've done, taking it out of the box and trying to see what it does. Hold down that. If I come back out, hold down the record again. Click Enter. Go down. It's got to work out how you go down. There you are. It is definitely the right. Let's choose another one. Enter. Oh, is that football? Can we go down again? Enter. I didn't do anything with that one. So you, the way this works is that when you go menu, go to conf, enter. And then you've got all these different menus, contrast, backlight, squelch, RF gain, which they say leave to naught. Lots to do there. So I wonder if it will pick up my, my DMR. Let's uh, back out. Right, this is my Hubnet node. -E so that is the volume. And there is a volume boost on this because I wouldn't say that was, you know, extra loud. But you heard it kick in there, but that was an analog signal. Let's, we'll wait for some DMR, Fusion or D-Star, and then we'll see what that sounds like. And you notice, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but the buttons do light up like an orange colour. 
you know, so that's good. Backlit buttons. On off here, so let's turn it off. There you are, shut down. Turn it on. It's a big screen, easy to see. You've also got squelch money here, so that's input or just turn that down. It will do the squelch as well, it says. See that squelch has appeared there. Not sure what you turn. Oh, there it is there. You turn the channel change. You push squelch. And then you can change it. You want about four. And then underneath here is your SD card, which really comes blank, really. And you can save files to it very easily. On this side, you've got your ear. It says ear. So that looks like a three, probably a 3.5 jack. Interesting, it's got the yellow colouring. I wonder what else it does. And data cable which I believe, let me think now. I don't think that charges, that's more for PC connection. We'll be checking that as well. And your DC cable, which just plugs in here. Get that, get that fully charged up later. You can see there is a battery symbol there, time. VFO A, B, and there's a VFO Z as well. Here we go across like this. Do we hold it? Oh, we get that menu. I'm noticing that as I push the right and left, it also changes the frequency, look. Then you go enter. Yeah, it moves the beat up. Did you notice that? B goes up. I thought if you hold down the enter, but let's get the squelch up. No, it's not doing anything. Oh, it could be the weird frequency we've got. It's very wide coverage, isn't it? It's 100 kilohertz to, I think, 1300 megahertz. So it's pretty good. Squelch is quite high on that. Let me put in my, my, uh, my, I've got my open spot here. So here we go. Four, I think it's four three three dot nine hundred. Uh, wrong frequency there. It's clear. Four three three dot nine hundred. Enter. We had some activity. That's my squelch there. Push it. You go back to volume. Yeah, nothing on that at the moment. No DMR or D stars. A shame, isn't it? You know, it's saying AM, so let's press mode. And we'll go to auto. Enter. Right, let's see if we can get some DMR or fusion. Right, something came through then. Let's see if we can get it to... I'll find it. That's actually... My overspot talking, it's not decoding though. So if we go A, B, see it says FM. So we go mode, we'll move that to, oh, look at that auto A, it says there. And we'll go four, put them both on four, three, three, dot nine hundred, enter. And then I'll do my open spot again. No, no joy yet, but it still says FM, doesn't it? No. So we'll keep playing around. So you've got the, you know, just, just a quick overview there. We're going to obviously go into all the functions in detail. It's quite a, you know, chunky device, not a small device at all. You look at it here, SDS 100, which is DMR trunking and P25, that kind of thing. It's lovely, lovely looking scanner, one of the best ones out there. And then you've got the AOR. The, 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 the main thing about the AOR, even though it is a nice looking chunky scanner, but the main thing about the AOR is that it will decode 
everything, and it covers the HF bands with the right antenna, uh, which the Uniden does not. So thanks for watching my unboxing. More to follow. 7-3, all the best.